The street renaming committee held its last meeting tonight to decide on the street names they are officially submitting for change. And now it's up to city council to decide if these suggestions are feasible before the adjustments are made. WDSU News reporter Shay O'Connor joins us live from the CBD with the latest. Shay. Stella and Gina, we're actually here near the street formerly known as Lee Circle. It's one of many streets throughout the city up for change, with commission leaders saying Egalite Circle would actually be a better fit. It's a Haitian term that means equality. The Street Renaming Commission presented its final recommendations tonight, which includes the renaming of 34 streets, three parks in one public space, with recommendations like Robert E. Lee Boulevard being changed to Allen Toussaint Boulevard and Tulane Avenue being changed to Allison Tutti Montana Avenue. It's been eight months since the Street Renaming Commission began the task of researching street names, parks, and spaces named after Confederates and the names of others that would be a better fit. Committee members say it's been a citywide effort in finding the right names, but the city will be impressed. Eight months later, you know, we feel confident that the list is a, a listing of legitimate places that should have been considered for removal, but also have names now attached to them that are meaningful and will help the city uh, tell the rest of the world how we live better together. So the list is actually being sent to the city council for approval, then the city planning commission. At some point, there will be a discussion on exactly how much all of this will cost. But as we know, when it comes to the change from Jeff Davis Parkway to Norman C. Francis Parkway, that all happened pretty quickly. So this could happen quickly, too. For now, reporting live from the CBD, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.